Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. No, I'm kidding. It's Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's not here tonight. So, Andrew and me grew up. Um, if you saw the past video, uh, we did a video together. But we grew up since we were kids. Grade school, junior high, high school. We've known each other for many, many years. He just moved to Florida from California. But he's in the film industry. Yep. Adult film? No. <laughs> Legit film. Legit. I, I, I wanted to see hey, that he, might not be a bad gig these I days. I wanted to see what he says. <laughs> but what we're going to talk about today is artificial intelligence, AI. Because AI, people are saying AI is going to affect real estate, how you buy a home, how you see homes. And don't ask me how. I have no idea because everybody keeps saying people are going to lose jobs, AI. But the biggest thing, too, is now that there's a lot of layoffs happening in the film industry. Yeah. So could you explain to us, but first, do me a favor. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It's really important and it's greatly appreciated. And give it a thumbs up and share it. Do you think that AI is going to ruin your industry? Explain to everybody what you do okay. and how AI could affect it. Okay. Um, artificial intelligence, basically what it could do is, you know, I, I make TV shows. And you, as you see is when he brought up adult film industry, they do those adult videos in AI. <laughs> uh, but they all look like, you know, you're playing a, a PlayStation game. Um, but they'll take the words. We've all seen it on Facebook. You know, they make someone say something or they take a picture of, of, of any famous actress and they put it on some 19-year-old's body and, you know, try to make you think that, you know, this woman that's 50 looks like she's 22. Um, but in, in Hollywood, the only commodity that any of these actors have is their likeness and their voice. Right. So they don't want it to be, while they're alive, you know, they don't want that to be replicated, duplicated, or even licensed out. Because if you can produce them without having them as the actual talent on the screen, like there goes the twenty million dollars salary, or the five million dollars, whatever they're getting now, for the movie. Now, could they the sell? Could they sell the rights to their well, looks now, or, or their voice? As, now, remember, we were talking earlier, and there's a big thing going down with uh, audiobooks. And you know, nobody wants to read an audiobook. You know, so say you want to get, you know, I don't know, name someone famous. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, Lucille Roberts. Uh, is that, what's her name? No, uh, Lucy, Lucille Ball. I'm sorry. No, Lucy Ball. <laughs> Lucille Roberts was the workout <laughs> chick. So Lucille That's Ball. That's where your mind is, huh? Yeah, Lucille okay. Ball. And, you know, she's from the 50s from I Love Lucy. Now, she's not around anymore, but they have samples of her voice, you know, her speech pattern, what her vocals sound like. Now, you could take that, plug it into a computer with a artificial intelligence, and you can get Lucille Ball to read you whatever book it is that they apply it to. But you don't want to do that with anyone that's current. You know, like you wouldn't want to do that with Robert Downey Jr. He's not going to sell off his voice to start reading books because for starters, what if it's a really crappy book, you know? Well, also in the music industry, you know, AI, from what I understand, is it's out there learning, so it learns from other music. Oh, well, it does. AI learns from everything. It's, it doesn't, it, it, there is, AI is just an open code and you have to feed it something for it to know what to do with it. But now your industry, I read an article, your industry is getting affected big time because of AI. That's what the... The articles not, are saying not real. I mean, it, 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 there was one little stint where uh, well, I know in, the union, they... in the union contract they were trying to get. So here's just, this just happened several months ago. The union contracts, the screenwriters and the SAG, the Screen Actors Guild, okay. and they were arguing over artificial intelligence because what they wanted to do was not just with the stars of the show. You have extras, all the people in the background and stuff like that, or even the second or third banana. Meaning, like if you and me are the stars and we're having a conversation, there might be someone standing over here, and they're really not doing anything, but they're just like you know side candy. Um, and what they wanted to do was, is they want to get the whole 360 of this person. Mm -hmm. So they want to get the rights to their look and everything. And then they could plug them in on every single TV show without having them to show up for the day to pay them whatever an extra gets, 60, 80, 100, $200 a day. I don't, really? Whatever it is, yeah. So they would have all the audiences or whatever they needed, the bystanders, like people that walk past you, they have them already generated and they want you as, if you're the person that they generated, you sign away your life rights. You know, so you don't even get paid a penny for so it. So what about if you became famous and you were... That's the argument, that if all of a sudden, and then say Paramount has the rights because you were an extra on some TV show, and now you're a famous, and they're going to be like, well, we're going to sell off all the extra stuff of you, and they're going to make top dollar on you. So that's why you get a lot of these actors, like they were fighting heavily, like we're not, we're not negotiating to give away our likeness to anybody. 
But do you think that AI is this right now is good enough to copy somebody, put them in a movie, and people can't tell the difference? No, not even close. Nothing, not even close to the naked eye. And here's a perfect example. We're filming this on a, a little digital camera here. Um, if you were to take, I'm going to get technical people. So if you take, like, everyone goes like 4K, 6K, 8K, that's nothing compared to what the naked eye can see. So if we were to build a camera to, to equivalent with the naked eye, mm -hmm. that camera would be as big as the whole area standing behind us here. It would be enormous to bring in all the light and how everything, and as fast as it all translates and works. So the computer can't do that yet. Now with quantum computing, maybe in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, they might get to the point where Remember, you have to see the whole 360. You have to see the front, the side, the back, the shadow, everything. Yeah. And the computing power is just not there yet. It's getting there. So you think five years from now? No, more, even more than that. Put it this way, you can't even get solar power to power up electrical cars in this country. So how are you Especially gonna, California, where you're from. Exactly. So <laughs> how are you gonna get, like, you're gonna tell me they're gonna put in all the trillions of dollars needed into the computer processing to get, like, what, maybe one character? You know, think about what it takes just to generate uh, a PlayStation or an Xbox game. How many hundreds of millions of dollars goes into just making the game, writing the code, and that doesn't even look realistic. It's not even close. So why is everybody getting laid off now? You know, uh, the all, Paramount Plus. Okay, so why, the whole. Why, there's right. a lot, that's in the news right now. A lot okay. of people are getting laid a off. A lot of people get laid off in Hollywood because of, well, for starters, oh, you have a lot of people doing the same job three, four, five times in a row. At when networks are kind of like government. You know, it, they, there's a whole bunch of people doing nothing, and then there's a little bunch of people doing everything. Mm -hmm. So it, there's a lot of overbloating. You know, you bring in your friends, your family, your kid, your daughter, your daughter's kid, and you know, everyone's got the same. Everyone's doing the same job, and then you realize somebody comes in and says, "Why do we got 12 people doing this one job?" So that's one side of it. Then the other side is streaming. They put so much money into streaming, and then they want to charge, you know, 14, 19, 20 dollars a month for streaming. And like, how many streaming you know services do you have, or how many can you afford? You know, that's ridiculous. Uh, I'll tell you something about streaming. I I looked at my streaming services. Yeah. I cut cable to. And it's just, more expensive. Yeah, I have like eight of them: Hulu, Netflix, Paramount Plus, yeah. Apple TV Plus. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Um, I have. And they're all competing for the same space. Yeah, and I have a couple more. Uh, A and E, you know, I have all all that stuff. Yeah, Peacock, the whole nine yards. Peacock, I have Peacock too. And, you have e, and you'll have like say HBO Max because you just want to watch the I Game have of HBO. Thrones. And then you got Peacock because you want to watch whatever. So it is like, doing. like at Peacock, like okay, it's only six bucks. So I keep saying I gotta cancel, I gotta cancel it, but I just never do. So I end up spending, you know, one hundred fifty dollars a month just on TV and, shows. And you could and you could have had not all of them because let's be honest, a lot of these shows only go to those streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. That's how they drive traffic. But it's like you're, you're just cutting them. So you take Paramount. They have the Paramount Plus. Uh, Paramount laid off a whole bunch of people, which is Paramount CBS. And they got rid of a lot of executives and stuff like that. But they look at their streaming because they were like, hey, streaming is just a bunch of servers where we throw all content on. And we charge $19.99 a month. And hopefully we have 100 million subscribers. Well, why does, why they does, don't have it. Why do some of these movies skip the movie theaters now? A movie theater is dying? Yes and no. Uh, it depends on where the theater is located, what kind of theater it is. Um, you know, it's the demographics. And, you know, like, for argument's sake, if you go to a movie in New York City or in parts of L.A., you don't want to walk out of the theater at night. You know what I'm saying? It's a shady area. Um, and let's be honest, most of these movies now are two-plus hours. And if, say you got to go to the bathroom, you want to use the men's room or the ladies' room, you got to get up in the theater that you just paid 18 bucks for to see a movie, and then you're seven minutes in the bathroom and you come out. And the comfort of your living room with your 90-inch screen or whatever, however big it is, mm -hmm. click, pause, get up, make popcorn, get a soda, get a beer, hey, you come saw, back. You saw my setup. I yeah. got 100-inch. Yeah, yeah. And then start all over again. And, you know, your stadium seating, you relax, you, you kick back, and you can watch it at, you know, your will. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to the 920 movie or the 710 movie. You know, it's, it's not must-see TV. Must-see TV is over with. That's what streaming did. Because then you could watch anything when you wanted it, whenever you wanted it. But the problem is, is that there's too many services, and they started splitting up the programs. They would have been smarter if they went to somebody like, whether it was Apple or Hulu, 
and they all kind of brought, which is how they used to do it originally, and everyone was licensing their, their content to the one provider, and then the one provider came, just the way cable works. But now they split up. Now they own. split because they all want their own because they want to drive their so, stock prices. So you're saying AI is not what's causing all these layoffs? No, not even close. No, it has nothing to do with it. Um, honestly, uh, people make it sound like because everyone's looking for a scapegoat, uh, but it's AI is nowhere where it needs to be. I mean, and AI is also scary because of what it can do at this present moment. Like, it could take your voice and my voice, and you can re-edit it, and you could use it to, you know, call your boss on the phone and, you know, tell him not, well, you're your own boss, but you know what I'm saying? Somebody That'd be could, funny. Yeah. If I some, called myself. So call yourself, yeah. And, <laughs> and they call their boss, and they tell him off. Or, or whatever, or someone calls someone's wife and says he's cheating on her. You know, like, yeah, that's it's, a scary prop. You that, know? Is, that is a scary prop. You know, and it so, can be done. what about the backgrounds? I know they do a lot of stuff with green screens, people well, dress well, up in yeah, green. But, but, but see, is, green, that, is, that, is that all going to be replaced by AI? No, because, see, AI's never going to equivalent, maybe, could be 25 years, but nothing can match the bones in the body. You know what I'm saying? The movement, the, the, the flow, how it all goes. Um, and right now, you, you'd have to program that, and that's all math, a lot of coding you gotta sit there and do. So you're saying, the, you know, the, the movies that like uh, Ted, you know, the one with the big teddy yeah. bear, yeah. Uh, you know, Mark Wahlberg, um, so you're saying that that's a guy in it, that's not AI, that's... No, well, that's a mechanical robot, if I believe, that's like animatronics, like the way they did Schindler's, uh, Schindler's List, the way they did Jurassic Park, uh, <laughs> with, we'll cut that out, the way they did Jurassic Park. You're doing the editing on this one, so... <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, so it's, it is like, you know, animatronics where they create the dinosaurs and they make a move, um, but, like, when you take something, I'm trying to think of something like, all right, if you look at, like, Harry Potter's, uh, and, yeah, you know, like that's good, good yeah, example. Yeah, so, he, so, he, so he's in his, uh, the, whatever the castle school is, it's yeah. called, Hogwarts. And he's in there like, that castle doesn't exist. What exists is a big room with a blue or green screen. And they put them in there and they fly in that background. Now that background is, is plated. It means it's shot from like photographs, high, high resolution photographs. So that's or, not AI at all? Not necessarily. I mean, it might have some AI to do the what's called tweening. Mm -hmm. So when you gotta bring two things together to make them look smooth, it tweens in the middle. And a perfect example of tweening is South Park. You know how you see their arms move and stuff, and it's like Cartman's hand is here, then Cartman's hand is there. And it's like the computer itself in the program called Maya that they use can tween. It can go, be, what, what does it take to get from here to here? So it kind of does, it figures out the math right in here. So let me ask you a question, AI. All right, so you're, from what I'm understanding, from what you're saying, because you're in the industry, in the film industry, it's not gonna affect it that much. In the music industry, it could affect it big time. Well, they've been using AI in the music industry for a while now, and like, for argument's sake, when they do the, uh, the uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's when they take the voice and they can the pitch control. And so they can basically take your pitch and they can bring it higher or lower, so if you're singing out a key, they can fix your key, the vocal key. Mm -hmm. So that's basically artificial intelligence. Uh, that's extent. why I like the music from the 80s yeah, and stuff like because you get they, a real, they, like, you know, they didn't have all that stuff. That's right, you get the real deal going down. Um, so they, they can sit there and they could, you know, shift the vocals, make it sound, make her sound, clean up whoever the artist is. Uh, there's a bunch of them out there that do it, and you know, and, and honestly, some of them, if you ever heard the raw material, you'd be like, wow, they, they can't sing to save their life. But when they go into the computer and the, the producer and the engineer sits there and works their magic. What about the people that produce music now, write music? I mean, you know, that they're using a lot of AI? Not really, I mean, because to write a song, you still need to use, you know, old fashioned sit down with a guitar in your hand and, you know, strum something oh, out. Oh, do you? Yeah, you have to, because you, cause you have to get the basics. You have to be like, it's gonna go da na 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 you know, just like that, and they figure it out. Now, don't get me wrong, when they take those patterns and they plug them into the computer, and they're like, okay, I need this on a repeat, then I want this to play here, then I'm gonna do this here, and then it starts to become that, but it's not exactly artificial intelligence, like the computer's generating the sounds, it's the producer and the engineer who's putting the song together. And today it's a lot of kids in their garage doing it, you know, on a keyboard and stuff like that and a guitar. They have their own equipment and they're just putting all the, you know, all the music together on the different tracks. They're just layering it out to get the sound they want. Well, like I know in the, in the book industry, like I wrote that book, you know, how to start a business. But, you know, on my new book, like when I, when I send it out so somebody could rewrite it or reword something for me, you know, they all kept saying, oh, they're using AI. I don't want AI on my book at all. Yeah. 
but well, when you, well, but you're saying when they're using AI in the book because they're using it the, to change the text. Yeah, like sometimes you know I write something and it doesn't, I can't get it to flow correctly, so I'll send it to a somebody that will read it and rewrite it. So it's kind of, it's almost like they're using uh, that software for text messaging, Grammarly, where it yeah, something like Grammarly yeah. and stuff, but. They're using AI and it's coming back, and I'm like, it doesn't have the rhythm and the flow that you would have because no, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like me. No, it doesn't because like they don't they, they don't know the pauses, the breaths, the uhs, the buts, the huzz, you know, and so they're just basically getting their 10, 15, 20, whatever it is, an hour to, to plug it into a computer. They're typing what you have into a computer and right. they're asking the computer to clean it up. Yeah, like the book I wrote that you read, you know, and um, that was just me. It was telling my story, you know, what I do. This one too, you know, I just want somebody, but I can't find anybody because everybody's just using the AI. And a lot of people that I like, they're not doing it anymore. They're like, hey, I can't compete with the other people's prices because they're using the AI. Yeah, and it's and because let's be honest, from when we grew up to you know we didn't have cell phones, mm -hmm. um, you know we everyone knew where we were to meet on a Friday night or a Tuesday night. You know we all knew where we were. We didn't have to text anyone if we wanted to tell someone we don't want to talk to them anymore. We told them to their face. Uh, today, today everything's been I don't want to say dumbed down because it is technology, but it's been dumbed down to like you, everything's on a phone and you could do everything from your phone. Yeah, literally, I was telling you before. We won't say who it is, but they were. Trent, they want to ask a girl out to dinner, and I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, I'm texting the girl, I want her to go to dinner. I said, she's right across the street, and you, you know, yeah. pretty much, you know who she is. Yeah, but I got her phone number. Walk over there and ask her out. Yeah, there's no more, in, there's no more uh, interpersonal activity going on where no one, you know, no one gets the feel for anything anymore. But Everyone's in their mom's okay, basement. People might say in this video, you know, Jimmy, you're just really, really old, you know? It does, it's not like that, but it was nice, you know, to go up to a girl and just say, hey, do you want to go out? And take the chance. Maybe she rejects it, maybe she doesn't. Look, the, I, I've met in, in my time as a single guy, ladies, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, especially living in Los Angeles, some of the most beautiful women in the world. And the funny part is that most of them are lonely, like they're by themselves, because people won't come up to them. Men won't walk up to them because they're afraid to get turned down. And I'll be honest, if you walked up to them and you asked them out, they'd probably say yes. Nine out of 10 will probably say yes. And if you're just being a nice guy. But if you're gonna, if you, what you said, you're gonna text somebody, there's now, no they, there's no there's no connection so they're either going to say yes because they just want the free dinner and they're moving on or they're going to just say no because let's be honest women are a lot more smarter than men like let, let, when a it, lot of times yeah it's like you know they're, they're actually rational men don't think with their heads they kind of think with not even some other part of their body it's like an outer body experience they they, they go from zero to 100 and women are very rational. But that's they come what up I'm in saying. Levels. As AI grows, you know, like phones, you know, just technology and stuff, you know, people breaking up with other people or people arguing. Like the stupidest thing to me is when people argue about politics on Facebook. It bothers me because you're not going to change their mind. They're not going to change your mind. You're just fighting about politics. Correct. So you believe what you believe. They believe what. Why bother fighting? And I, I've seen friendships, families, everybody get ripped apart on that stuff. And because they can't, they can't agree to disagree anymore. I know. Yeah. So AI will, will make the decision for you. It's pretty well. It's pretty much what, what's happening now. You're going to get a group of elites, and they're going to decide everything you do. You know, right. they're going to decide... tell AI, hey, accomplish this task somehow. Yeah, and it's going to be crazy. And also. You know how they're introducing, like, in, in fast food chains, the robotics, mm -hmm. you know, to cook, to flip the burgers, make the fries and all that stuff? Yeah. You know now they're going to actually, those mechanical instruments in these restaurants, and now they're passing, or might have passed, or they're trying to pass the bill. They actually want to tax them yeah, they want on an hourly California. wage. Yeah, yeah like the total so, tax. Yeah, so California is like, oh, you know, we want $20 an hour. So we're like, all right, we'll just get rid of these people. Okay, your state. We'll just get rid of these well, not people. Not anymore, but <laughs> and but and and have the same, have the same thing done with less people. Yeah. Or we'll get robots. Yeah. 
Now, when you go into a Taco Bell, I don't see anybody. I go to a, a kiosk. Kiosk. I hit what I want, yes. and then somebody walks out with it. Yeah. And pretty soon, it'll be a robot that comes out, an yeah. AI robot. But they want to tax. They want to tax that machinery now because they realize that if you owned a, some sort of establishment, you had say 10 people working for you, and you're like, I can get rid of four of them because I don't need the fry later cook and the burger cook and. And they won't else. complain. They'll show up. Yeah. And then they said, Yeah, but you're using this robot to do, the, and the robot works 24/7. So now the government wants tax on that. I mean, the government will just tax you to death. So at the end of the That's day... That's why it's a death tax. At the end of the day, is AI going to hurt at least your industry? No, not in the next 25 years. There's no way you're going to create a sitcom that a human is actually going to watch that's going to look lifelike. Nobody's even talking about creating Oh, they, you talk about it all day, every day. But nobody's actually going to... There's no equipment that can actually do it that, like... Let's just take, can I say a, sh a show? Can I name a show without getting in trouble? Yeah, of course. Like a show like Two and a Half Men, right? With Charlie Sheen and, um, uh, what was his name again? It's Alan Harper on the show. Uh, uh, John, John Cryer. Yeah. Um, you're, not gonna, you, you're not gonna create two characters that have that rhythm and flow. You know, a lot of that chemistry between the two of them, I mean, was written in the script, but it's their personalities. You know, it's Charlie's personality. It's Sean Cryer's hey, personality. Quick question. This is Ashton Kutcher or Charlie Sheen? Who did you like better? I, well, put it this way, honestly, <laughs> I like them both. Now, Charlie is dear to my heart for reasons we won't announce here. But Ashton did a hell of a stand-up job because Ashton he, is he, a funny he, guy. He had a tough job going He did, either. and he's a funny guy. I mean, if you just watch him on that 70s show, he's a funny guy. And, you know, but I'll, in all honesty, it's all John Cryer and Two and a Half Men. It's the Alan Harper character. He is what made that show work. Yeah. It's literally him because you had it had to be played. You had to have the straight guy who was also self-deprecating, could make fun of himself, and that's all he did on that. And Charlie just played Charlie. Basically, that was Charlie in real life. Um, I don't want to say 100%, but it was Charlie. Yeah. Uh, but that's, and then when Ashton came in, Ashton did a hell of a job. Uh, I think they're, they're two different shows, but the same show. All right. At the end of the day, you think it's not going to do it. I think it's going to affect the music industry. I think it's going to affect the book industry. And I think it's going to affect a lot of common things, secretarial. I, you know what I actually think it's going to affect what? more than those things first? I think it's going to affect accounting oh, of course. companies. I think it's going to affect law firms mm -hmm. because it can sift through the legal discussions faster. It can look at precedents from like going all the way back from day one, yeah. you know, where it takes it takes many, many uh, uh, assistance in a, in a law firm to start looking, preparing for a law case months in advance. You know, so that's where I think it's going to it's going to hit the most. Here's another one that I read that if it's interesting that if it goes, if it happens, AI, you want to investigate somebody or you want to learn about somebody, you put it into the AI and the AI will do all the work for you. Yeah, it's exactly what I said about the law firm. It's going to do everything. It's going to eliminate. It will probably at one point actually eliminate lawyers because it will make rational arguments where I mean, like, let's be honest, you know, if you're guilty of something and you hire a lawyer, it's the lawyer's job to, you know, prove you're not guilty, even though he knows you're guilty. So they come up with any kind of way of, you know, changing yeah. what is there. But AI is going to look at it clean and cut, and it's going to be like the guy did A, B, and C, and that's it. You know, and is that a good thing? Yes, for the guilty people who are really guilty, but but for the one that walked the line, not no. so. <laughs> hey, that's today's video. Do me a favor, watch this video over here. It's a really, really good video. And remember, subscribe, thumbs up, and share. See you and, later, America. And, and comment below. <laughs> Tell us what you think. AI, yes or no. Talk to you soon. Peace. This whole video was generated by AI. <laughs> Believe Thank it or not. Thank you, America.